So what we're going to do now before we uh, start creating our environment inside of Unreal Engine and bringing it all together, we're going to have to export our two cameras. So I'm going to select everything and I'm going to hold control to deselect these two cameras. And I'm actually going to delete everything like that. And we're going to save this project. All right, guys. So what we're going to do in here is that we're going to bake the camera animation so we can bring it over to Unreal Engine. And by doing that, I'm going to go to the first frame here and I'm going to create a new camera. I'm going to call this one camera one baked. And I'm going to make sure that the resolution is the same. And that the focal length is the same. So that's looking good. I'm going to go into our camera two and make sure we are on the first frame here as well and create a new camera. And we're going to call this camera two baked. And let's just check that the resolution is lining up here as well. So that was 1500 like that and the focal length should be matching as well. And it is. So it looks like we're all good to go. I think we're ready to uh, bake the cameras. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our camera one baked here and we're going to create a objects uh, constraints object constraints excuse me so we're going to create a, a constraints network and in here we're going to create a object constraints and an export node we are then going to target our camera one and put that into the source and display and export it and when doing so we can then go into the transform node and we can click on this constraints network icon and click bake constraints. So that is going to set a keyframe for each frame here so that we have the camera animation baked. And we're gonna go and do the same for the camera two baked. So I'm going to create a constraints network and an object constraints and an export node. We're going to target our camera two and set that as the source, display it and export it. And then we're going to go into our transform, click on this icon and click on bake constraints. This course is your shortcut to mastering a rock solid workflow. So get ready to explore the depths of fluid simulations and let's dive in and get started.